Well, a local. Hello, everybody. Hi. Welcome Hi. to Open What's Mic. Up? I'm not alone this here. This is playing shot. I brought this the whole team. <laughs> Look upon us. In, Yay! In Studio B, we are. are what what game are we playing again? It's Marvel. What? Marvel, Alliance. Marvel Ult Ultimate Alliance three, three Marvel Ultimate on okay, Switch. Press. So okay. everyone is currently trying to figure out how to do co-op. How do we press? Because we're all new. L and R. Yeah, I pressed pressed L and R. Oh, press L and R. So, so we're think all I'm here. Pretty... We're trying to figure out a game that we've never played before. Yeah. So <laughs> and we tried to do it three minutes before did the I do it right? Yeah, I don't know why we were this stupid, but whatever. <laughs> here we are. Oh wait, that, that, what happened? You press L and R and then you press A. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, let's just cancel. Local, this. yeah. So Why? L &R. It looks like we're ready, guy. Okay, L and R. And then hit A when you're ready, or whatever that button is, then you're ready. Okay. All right. Yeah. So look, How while, you, keeps doing while that? these guys figure this out, oh, no. I am going to ask the first question from John Redcorn, okay, who writes. One more time. Over under thirty percent. Hardy's Venom appears in Secret Wars. Under thirty percent. I mean, I I just don't think Sony is ready to move i mean yeah i know there was a post credit scene and that was cute Whoops. but i really don't think what's they're i don't know we, we didn't set we did not prepare for this at all. i have no idea what's happening um, now we're oh yeah so no i i, I just idea. don't think we're gonna see venom in it i don't think sony is i think we're gonna okay my guess is and it's only a guess don't quote me on this i feel like we're gonna start to see sony separate itself a little bit more from everything so i'm gonna say under 30 percent rob it won't stop. under 30 percent under 30 percent unless they oh there it goes. oh here we go yes oh i'm Groot. okay oh man where's rocket i'm oh. gamora who's Groot? i'm Groot. Man. i am green <laughs> how do we play all right all right yeah so well, now so you're got... gamora rob yeah i'm gamora okay let's go over here okay all right so now we got aiden foley who writes uh i tripped and broke my left arm yesterday like oh no like a cartoon character uh, you know, fun fact, one time I stepped on a banana peel to see if it would really make me fall, and it did. Don't do Are you serious? Yeah, and I was in high, I was in high school, and I was at the, in front of the bleachers, and it was really embarrassing. This is one of these things you don't admit to, but okay. Well, okay. I'm, I'm uh, solidarity with Aiden here. But watching your show is the best uh, prescription I got, and maybe some cowbell. Aw, thank you, Aiden. I'm glad we could be here for you as you watch us pathetically try to get through a game we've never played. Come on, guys. All gotta, I know is I'm flying. We gotta get to that scanner. Yeah, yeah, let's go. All right, so while they get to the scanner, I'm gonna read Jonathan Schultz's uh, question here. What's the most bizarre thing that's ever happened to you uh, in a movie theater? For me, someone was playing hide the hot dog. To, I'm guessing that's not really a hot dog. Two rows behind me. <laughs> what was the game Jonathan? Well, I, it, Some hot I buns? Know. I don't know. Do right. they mean somebody was eating a lot of hot dogs? Well... Hide the hot dog. I don't know where they were hiding the hot dog. What's that? <laughs> um, weirdest experience. I mean, like I've told this. This isn't technically in a movie theater, but I've told this story before that um, I was in a drive-through. Oh, these things kill us apparently. Yeah, we, we have to go. get out of the way. Oh, gotta well, okay. Let's um, go. We have to move forward while getting yeah, out of the way. Guys, we gotta go forward. So uh, I was in a drive-through once. And the car, in, I've told the story before, but there was a car, in, uh, a pickup truck in front of us, and two people were having sex standing up in the pickup truck in front of us. That's so I will say that qualifies as the weirdest thing that I've ever had happen to me at a movie. Might be the best thing. the pickup truck bad if you're going to have standing sex. I, I, you know, I didn't, I should have, now that you mention it, I regret that I didn't take advantage of the opportunity to ask them. You get in between that. Guys, we're not playing well as a team. This is a question of logistics here. Robbie hates us, right? All right, what's All next? right, so next we've got uh, Vader voice. <clears throat> Star Wars has been burned three times. D&D &D before uh, Game of Thrones season eight. Patty Jenkins before World uh, Wonder Woman Sorry, start that again. What was burned three times? Uh, Star Wars. Star Wars. How and I think it's because he's saying, uh, so D and D before Game of Thrones season eight, Patty Jenkins before Wonder Woman eighty four, and Taika Waititi before Thor four. Yikes! Is Star Wars cursed? So I'm thinking because of the yeah, the showrunners or the oh or, right yeah. Um, may, don't forget about Josh Trank. Oh yeah. I mean, Josh Trank was supposed to be um, Rogue One, right? Was, well, no, he was supposed to. No, that was um, the director who did end up directing it. Uh, Josh Trank was supposed to do a secret Star Wars project that we later found out was going to be a Boba Fett um, movie. And, of course, Josh Trank did the incredible movie, um, uh, uh, Michael B. Jordan. What was the name of that one again? The, the 
No, the uh, uh, Chronicle. Chronicle. Yeah, Josh Hank directed the incredible Chronicle, which was just amazing. But and then you know, then he did Fantastic Four, and honestly, I know everybody likes to bag on him for it, but if you really look at truly the breakdown of events and how things transpired, that was had mostly to do with Fox's. I don't mind studios interfering because it's their movie, but Fox literally like sabotaged that movie. But anyway, just, so Josh Trank had got a really bad rank, uh, rap from that, and then Lucasfilm pulled the plug on that. So it's happened a number of times. I, again, I just think it it kind of goes to show that um, one of the problems with no the biggest problem I think with Kathy Kennedy's running of Lucasfilm is that she never properly vetted or truly made sure she was getting the right directors for their projects. And all those examples kind of uh, show that with the Star Wars side. But I mean, look, other than that, you never know what's going to happen. Every time you put out a movie, most movies aren't good. Everybody forgets this. Most movies aren't good. And even Steven Spielberg will have put out a bad movie once in a while, like Terminal. So, it. I mean, it just... It happens. So, no, it's not cursed, but they just got to get... They need to get a new head of Lucasfilm in, and then they just need to get back on track. I will ignore that comment. All right. Yes. Very quickly, can we just get everyone to say who they're playing as the live chat? Oh, I am, quote-unquote, playing as Groot. I'm not doing well. I'm right. I'm Gamora. I'm supposed to be not Star Gamora. Lord, but I'm thinking oh, you are of Gamora, other people so. sometimes. It's right. a very busy game. So there you go. All right, next up, we've got Stubble McShave, who writes a holiday uh, special with Benoit Blanc, Blanc and the Muppets, yes or no? Yes. yes. Well, what's his name? Uh, Ryan Johnson was recently talking about that, that it was proposition to him about having a murder mystery crossover of Benoit Blanc, who's, of course, that's uh, Daniel Craig's character in, um, uh, in Knives Out, with the Muppets. But he later shot it down, saying, look, you, you would have to compromise too much. Let's go... Which way, what? Rob? Lead it. Lead us. Well, um, no, we're hang on. We're, we have to go. We got to go to the right. See, there's a big flashing dot on the radar. Yeah. All right, right, so right. We need to go to the right. Okay. Um, so does that mean we go here? I think so. No. Nope. Apparently not. Was. Try going up those stairs and around to the right. Oh yep. yeah. I didn't see. Oh, there's the wrong stairs. people playing. Um, so he said that you'd have to compromise one or the other too much. So he oh. doesn't think you can oh, actually more. do one well. So I, I'm going to say, I mean, I would be down for it, but I don't think it's going to happen. All right. Next up, we got Michael Getz, who writes, um, let me just get him in the screen here. Uh, had, why have we not gotten a Spider-Man 4 announcement? Uh, no Way Home was a huge hit. Is there even a script? I, you know what? I think it has more to do with the fact that, Look, my suspicion, but I don't know. I could change my mind on this tomorrow, given more information, um, is that I don't think Marvel and Sony have really fully worked out what they're doing with Spider-Man right now. I, I, Rob, do you have a... Uh, you know what? I, I think you're absolutely right. I think Tom Holland's contract ended. They they don't know what they're going to do next. And I think they have to figure that out. Yeah, so... I. Plus, I mean, it might, might also have something to do with certain oh, things have to happen in the MCU. I mean, I'm saying this is just another possibility that certain things have to happen in the MCU before announcing a new Spider-Man movie would make sense. And also, I still think there is a possibility, however unlikely, guys, that you run up the stairs and go kick maybe, ass. oh my gosh, that maybe, you know, we're not gonna see Spider-Man in the MCU anymore. I don't think that's the case, but I mean, that's another possibility that's on the, uh, that's uh, on the plate, maybe. So that's probably why. All right, next up we've got... Um... I'm really bad at this game, by the oh way. My god, oh my god, Star Lord is so cool. <laughs> Taff Are you Fool? playing group? Almost Don't. like it's supposed to be tasteful, yeah. but Taff Three Fool uh, writes, Can we talk about how bad WB's marketing is concerning main DC films? The last few marketing campaigns, while not fully responsible, contributed to performing at the box office like Black Adam. I don't know what other recent DC... I mean... The with Suicide Squad, I don't think the marketing was all that bad with Suicide Squad. I mean, it was just look, it, you're in the heart of pandemic stuff. I think there's a lot of circumstances, not to mention the fact that despite the fact that the first Suicide Squad made a lot of money at the box office, very few people liked it. So 
you had a new Suicide Squad movie that a lot of people didn't like the first one. The One of the big main stars, Will Smith, wasn't even in it. Most of the cast of the first one weren't in the second one. And it was a whole pandemic era thing. And thanks a lot, Jason Kalar, the stupid boneheaded decision by Jason Kalar, the former head of Warner Brothers, to put um, Suicide Squad day and date on HBO the same time that they were uh, trying to put it in theaters. I mean, so if that one wasn't the marketing. Black Adam, the marketing certainly didn't help. But again, I think it's it had a lot to do with the fact that... Oh, yes. There we go. Um, that... I think a lot of, I think the, look, the public has just shown that they're kind of over this iteration of DC in the movies. I, I, I just think every day we're seeing more and more evidence that they really do need to reset and restart the DC universe and start fresh. So, but yeah, the marketing campaign for Black Adam wasn't great. I never knew what the movie was about. Wait, Rob, come back. But it took more than that. My complaint was actually the inverse going back to BVS and like Justice League. They would have incredible trailers. And oh, yeah. Just, the, their trailers were fantastic. I mean, they blew, they, they took over Ooh. Comic-Con every time and then it just was lackluster. The anyway, uh, Casey Mack writes, I know you said you will likely not do a top 10 list in TV shows and that's understandable. I just want to know what was your favorite show you watched in 2022? Yellowstone. Rob? Uh, For All Mankind. Chris? Chris said Wednesday. Ray, what was your favorite show? Oh. I know you're going to be all for All Mankind, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. for I mean, there was a lot of other great, sh awesome, awesome stuff. House of the Dragon. Oh. Uh, Andor. Actually, no, you know, I'm going to go Andor. I might go oh, House yeah. of the Dragon, actually. Yeah. Andor was yeah. another big one, but for me, it's um, still Yellowstone. And I'm basing mine off of which ones that I was excited to watch on the actual day it came out. It had to be House of the Dragon. Oof. Like, cause I remember, uh, uh, me and Rob would uh, message, or I would message Rob, cause my iPhone would get, for all mankind, episode whatever is up or, uh, right now, um, and I would text Rob. I'd be like, "Hey, the new episode is up," but then you would always text me back, "Oh, I already seen it." Right, Rob? Rob, I would say that. <laughs> you were like, Rob? Sorry, there, Rob. sorry, I'm trying to. It's hard. I, I'm not used to talking. And can I just say, Rob shot looks wonderful this time around, and the purple you, of you in the background. Oh, yes. am I gonna die? Is what happened? Are dead? we dancing? Uh oh. No, he's gonna. I really like the style of art on this game. You yeah, guys, cool. I think you guys can work together on like moves and stuff. Too. Yeah, but we never learned that. We yeah, never none, we just... Okay, let's do it. There. Oh, oh everyone, everyone, all four, everyone, all four. everyone, everyone, let's go. Oh yeah! Oh, that was quite a lot. all the time. You're welcome. We have to build what up. What the hell? Oh no, let's get a cheat where we don't have I'm to. Build just up. I'm just button mashing. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Well, that took out a lot of his energy. All right. Heck yeah, let's do that again, like all the time. All right, so Peter Cunnington. No, no. Uh, I do not. I do not know if this rumor is true or not, but I heard a very uh, serious rumor: Ezra Miller not being fired as the Flash. That's that's the case. I'm done with DC. If okay. That's the case. I'm done with DC. So we're not going to go into it right now because we're going to save that for the main thing tomorrow. Oh, However, get that thing I, ready, Ray. I'm going to. Oh man. I'm going to point out one important thing. All right. The article in question said, and again, we'll go more into this tomorrow and how will I feel if it's true and all that kind of stuff. But I'm just going to point this oh, out. We have to revive Rob. That, Thank you. Um, the article said that uh, a couple of DC executives are open to the idea of Ezra Miller coming back. I just want to remind everybody that it don't mean fuck. Only two people have a say as to whether or not Ezra Miller comes back, and that's James Gunn and Peter Safran. Nobody else gets a say. The only person who can override them is David Zaslav, but he, you know, he likes to give the authority and the power to the people, to his generals. So they can have all these other whatever executives running around Warner Brothers saying, yeah, I'd be open to him coming back. Doesn't mean shit. Doesn't mean a single thing. David Zaslav gives his generals total authority over their individual departments. He's done that ever since he was running Discovery. So... Uh, that's, I, I believe the Variety Car article when they say they talked to maybe a couple of Warner Brothers executives who said they might be open to it, but it doesn't mean anything. The only per people whose votes really count, the only people who are going to decide whether or not Ezra Miller will continue as Flash after the Flash movie is James Gunn, Peter Safran, nobody else. And we'll talk about it more tomorrow, but I just don't see James Gunn ever in a billion years doing that. 
So this might oh, we're, we're fighting that <laughs> right. in this. Magic K writes, uh, just a matter of time, the audience will demand your list of actors for DCU's uh, Wonder Woman. My pick is Jamie Alexander. What's yours? Nope. No, nope. well, actually, the matter of time would just be there, right? Because she just asked. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I'm no, I'm not going to get into X actor and X role things like off off questions. Like it's one thing for us to sit down and as we're prepping a show, to sit down and think about it and write out lists. But like off the top of my head, no, I don't have any. I mean, would I be totally happy with Jamie Alexander? Sure, I think she's great, but uh, I'm not gonna. I don't have anybody off the top of my head. All right, this next one's a two parter from Casey Mack. Part one, you know, ever since the TV show from, uh, TV show from, I think we've heard the song cue Sarah. Sarah, uh, a lot more in shows, movie trailers than we used to. And then part two. What song? Sarah. What song is Sarah? And now Evil Dead uh, Rises uses it, which I got to say was, uh, was not looking good for this movie. But now after that trailer, I am. I guess they were using that whatever song he's talking about in the if you guys I don't remember, even know the song we're talking about. Maybe it was in the teaser. The trailer. teaser they released yesterday. <laughs> oh, Star Lord with the Yeah, of course. That's I'm not even exactly sure what the what the question is. Yeah, I'm not quite following you, here, uh, if Casey. K Taylor, if like Casey so Max maybe K explains it in the K Sarah Sarah. Oh, K Sarah. Oh, well, there we go. Yeah, K Sarah. Sorry, it's a Q, not K, not K Sarah. The old yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Anne. Um, and there was a comma there, so I was just like, what? who's the big famous Canadian female singer? Anne Murray. Anne Murray. Yeah, I remember my dad used to listen to Anne Murray cassettes, and that. Whatever will be. be, be, <laughs> use will be. I gotta say, hold on. Before you, Lola. before you go on, uh, when I was watching you guys play and try to answer questions, like I was like, why are they having such a hard time? Now I know. <laughs> now I know. Anyone who's on Twitch and can hold a conversation and play a game and be really good at it. Yeah, I give that's... you all the respect in the world. <laughs> well, none of us are really good at it. So. Yeah. I mean, Jeez. well, we don't know how to play these games. That's the problem. You're trying to We're learn as you go. We're learning. All right. What's next? All right. So next up, we've got uh, Abraham Ruiz, who writes over under 15% that the Beyonder will be the main villain of Secret Wars and not Doom. Uh, I think he might be in it, but it, it, the Hickman version of Secret Wars, the Beyonders are a big, big part of that. Remind me who Beyonder is again. I, I'm what does he look like? He, is, he looks like David Hasselhoff in a white linen suit. Okay, that shoulder pads. I got it. I got it. <laughs> it's the best description I've ever heard of. I, I know exactly what you're talking about. What's I'm, I'm going to go under 15%. Though. Okay, what are we supposed to be doing here? Break out of the cell. <clears throat> All right. John Redcorn writes, like Worst Eddie Murphy movie, in my opinion, A Thousand Words. Oh, I was about to say A Thousand Words. No. That's where every time he speaks a word, like an acorn or a leaf falls from a tree. I can't remember. Uh, there's that... There's, oh man, there are several really bad. He went through a streak there where I like mean, Norbit. I mean Norbit was was bad, not. Oh wait, we do. Do we go over here? Because it's it's. Is that wall cracking? I don't know. There's something that's flashing there though. How do we? I have no idea what we're doing. Uh, there know, are got, people watching us right now who have it. played this game and know what we're doing. Are just screaming at us on the screen. Rob, do you have a worst uh, Eddie Murphy movie? There's like a least favorite. Uh, uh, what, what, Starship Dave or whatever? <laughs> yeah, right? Where he's like yeah. inside. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I that was press awful. It's, it's called something else, but I don't know what's going you on. You can't just jump over where you guys are all facing and go through there. No. Nope. But see, there's something flashing here. Which, oh, right here? Where you're standing? Yeah. Okay, well, let's do it. I mean, Interact. Interact. Oh, okay. Jeez. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. There we go. All right. Yeah, so if you hit A and interact, that'll do everything for you. <laughs> hey, I don't understand what the zero Synergy slash link. one. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, no, here. that's the command right there. I can't see it. Is it LR plus Y? ZR plus ZR, Y. ZR, that's the bottom. Oh, my God. I have no idea what we're supposed to be doing here. I don't know. Why can't it just be one button? Well, so this is the final episode of Play and Chat. <laughs> just so everybody knows, we're never going to do this again, ever. Oh, them two like, have to do it. To... I don't even know what my special move is. I don't even is. know what my special move is either. You just got to hit your, I think, the bumpers, right? The two bumpers at the same it's, time? It's, it's uh, right with Y. Huh? It's the right trigger or slight, like together with that. Yeah, that's your special move. So, 
the two people, right, have to do it at the same time? When you're near an ally who's using an ability. We might be stuck in this prison forever. Yeah, this might be it. Meantime, this might be... Uh, we've got questions. We this is answer. usually the point of a console game that I turn the game off and don't play it ever again. Um, no. No, no. Well, one of you guys figure it out. Yeah, anyway, what's the next question? And then I'm going to go to Conjecture yeah. here. Yeah. Who writes... So, Do you have any thoughts on WB? But then, Hang on, hold a second, right? I gotta read the question. Do you have any thoughts on WB Discovery uh, signing a deal with Video Amp, which is being touted as the biggest rival to Nielsen? I I haven't even read the I haven't heard the story yet. I mean, that could be interesting, but I'd have to read the story and get the details. Um, and get the details, so I, I don't really know. Is Video Amp, do they do like Nielsen uh, ratings? I, I, I'm not familiar with them. Yeah. yeah, so I don't know, but that would be interesting, so I'd have to see it. We're having a really hard right. time getting out of the cell. We've got. <laughs> no, it's, see, it says press A when you're near an ally who is using an ability. So somebody used their ability, I guess? I don't know how to use abilities. It's the right trigger, John? For, oh, you press right trigger with Y at the same time. But what, what are those two like? What's the purple? Like it's dynamite and fists. It's like. Oh, it has to be uh, Groot and. Uh, is it Rock? blue and yellow? So is it Gamora and and and? Yeah, is it me and somebody else? Yes. And whoever is. And uh, they both have to do it at the same time. Oh my God! No. Can it, we just? Anyone have played this game? Like they can tell. Uh, they could tell Taylor. Yeah. Just gonna press everything. I'm I'm ready to turn this game off and, and play, play Mario, Mario Kart, Kart back yeah. on. Yeah. I'm 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 almost over it. Okay. Hey, sorry. What's next? All right. CJ Rebirth. If, if you guys don't know this and you can't help us out, we're gonna move over to Mario Kart. Uh, CJ oh, Rebirth I writes. As I continue to play PS4 Spider Man, I now get the memes. Uh, people say that if Miles meets him in Spider Verse Two, to look out for the KO symbols. How do you get that thing up? Oh. I'm not quite sure what, what that means. Yeah, I'm not oh. sure either. Guys, you guys are giving us the most cryptic things <laughs> okay, today. Okay, John, when, yeah, yeah, yeah. when you hold that, the We L have to R see together. the memes to know what you're talking about, CJ. I'm supposed to hold L and R together? Together, watch, and the, the thing will come up. The door. Yeah. Yeah, see, now press the one oh, left. Press no. the X. So it's you and someone the else. The X or the Y? It's, it's this one, yeah. The one you're on there. Okay, I'm holding, I'm pressing it. And then you press that. So you are supposed to do that with who has the orange? It's the whoever's group or green. I am. No, no, no. The, the, uh, so uh, I think Rob is orange. So it's you and Rob. Okay. So you want me to do what? Hold L R together, and then that thing will come up. And, okay. And then yeah. And press uh, the left uh, button. Yeah, X or whatever it is on your pad. This is whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, try that one, and then try the. Yeah, one. you both have the symbols there. Now hit the button. Yeah. Hit what button? Hit this button. Yeah, the yeah, one see, you're on. I'm, I'm holding Just it. Just keep pressing it. Mash. And nothing happens. There. I. There, Rob, let me see your controller. I mean, you guys literally oh got the, the symbols to appear, but then nothing happened. Okay. Yeah, I. Uh, you have to give each other a heads up. Oh, Rob doesn't even have it all. Yeah, see? You guys have that. See the synergy thing. So do it, John, me and you at the same time. The What you were doing. Okay, I'm standing here holding my buttons. Well, I guess we're not doing nothing. All you, right. You guys got the symbol, but they so made it too complicated. That was Marble Ultimate Alliance 3. So We'll have to figure out how to get all those symbols going. And they people really wonder why it. I don't play console games. What you <laughs> well, I don't understand why they wouldn't have a tutorial. Well, yeah. Well, this is a tutorial. <laughs> not a very good one. Anyway, Jonathan Schultz writes, John, I agree with you. The okay. Acolyte is my most anticipated Star Wars well, projected uh coming out Go ahead and answer. something about getting more in depth about the sith is exciting i i mean look here's the thing the premise is fine like i the problem is i've seen so many movies and tv shows that have had great yeah. premises that yeah, yeah. but a premise won't make your show good or bad right it, it it's it all about sense. execution and the thing that makes me excited about acolyte is number one yes the premise the yes premise. but they've got the, the showrunner of russian dolls involved Can I and while not necessarily as exciting as, say, The Last of Us being done by the yeah, showrunner of Chernobyl, it's still, like, that gives, like, it's got somebody who's a proven super talent in telling stories. So, and then especially coming off of Andor, which I think is the best thing Star Wars has ever had on TV. Um, yeah, I'm, it makes me really excited for it. Really excited for it. All right, All right. Next? next up we got Rob McDonald who writes, Chris, can we hear your top 10 movies? Come on. You certainly can. Yeah, you can watch the video. Find, guess where you can find Werewolf by Night? Under Marvel's big ass 
movie. Yeah, it's, it's not a movie. movie. <laughs> it's a movie in Disney. It's listed no. as a Something that's 50 minutes long isn't a movie. Um, what I had on there was Belle as my number one for sure. Um, but let me see if I can find my little Busta. Do I get my um, controller back? Oh. Can anyone hear me too? I'm not Mike. Uh, Belle, Everything Everywhere All at Once, Avatar 2, Bullet Train, Marcel the Shell with Shoes On, Turning Red, Violent Night, World by Night because it's a movie, Bros oh. and Stuts, which is an excellent documentary. Which one's mine? This one's yours. Okay. They keep saying it's the Mario wrong Park. wall, but I like Can we all play. four? Yeah, let's play Mario Kart. Yeah, we're getting out of this. Sorry, guys, we put uh, we put Marvel Ultimate. We couldn't even get out of the fucking room. Well, okay. that was a terrible like tutorial, if that's what that was. <clears throat> All right, Jimmy Lopez writes, come on, Rob. Come on, Rob. Redemption time. Kick his Canadian booty. I kid, I kid. Love you guys. Thank you all for what you do. Well, you can do it in Mario Kart 8 right now. Well, at least you know what happens when we try a game for the first time online. Yeah, that, none of us have never played that game before. Oh, well. I, I still think anybody with this... What? Wait, do we have to do this? Fine. I don't want to do this. Uh, how do you get out of it? No, that? it's fine. Just, hit, just, just select any of those. It doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, that's you. So. Hit that. Now you can go down to multiplayer. Okay, there we go. Yeah, right, I, now that, we've got, um, that was horrible. Like, that mm -hmm. was really, really embarrassing. Mm -hmm. We couldn't even get out of the, the first room. Hey, you guys, you're in a room. Now just get out of this room. And four adults putting their heads together could not come up with a way mm -hmm. to get out of the video game room. Yeah, that was kind of stupid. That was me. really bad. All right. Uh, so we have one from yesterday. Apparently we missed and it was for Ray. So Miguel Zian, Zian writes, uh, Ray, what's your favorite Jordan sneaks? If you could give each host a pair, which ones would you give each one Ooh. to fit their personalities or favorite colors, maybe? I'm sorry. I, I'm not a, much of a Jordan collector. Oh, wait. We, so who is ever? Who's? I'm still a patron. But I do oh. have a favorite, and that's the, uh, I think it's the Jordan 6s. And I always equip those on my uh, my player in uh, uh, NBA 2K. So... I have to say the sixes are my favorite, and everyone gets their favorite color. I'm sorry that's a cheap way out, but that's exactly what I would do because I'm not a Jordan collector. All right, next up, we've got uh, Culture Wars Diplomacy who writes, which is harder, the riddle of steel or the riddle of making a good Conan movie? Or the riddle of playing that Marvel the, game? Oh, the riddle. Oh, my God. The riddle of playing the Marvel game. The riddle of steel. Um... Yeah, good Conan reference. There. They've, only, uh, they've only got one good Conan movie, in my opinion. Uh, you know what's funny? <clears throat> the Jason Momoa Conan movie was off to a really good start. I, I like that. Like the the first. I don't, did you see the Jason Momoa Conan? Yeah. Movie? It started with literally Conan being born. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. It's got a yeah. It was literally being born, like coming out of the birth canal and everything. And it was off to a good start, and then it just really fell. Even though they had the great Stephen Lang in it and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, the riddle of getting out of that room was apparently, for us, really bad. This is, that's, by the way, everybody, that's what happens to me in all the console games I play. Like, I load up God of War, I play for five minutes, come across this witch, and I couldn't get past the witch, and I gave up on the game, and I never played it again since. That's how all my get console <laughs> game experiences go. Uh, quickly, can you just say who's who? I'm Toad. Oh, we're all I'm Link. wrong. So the next one. All right, we'll so Rob is I'm Link. Mario. Rob is Link. John is Mario. Chris is Toad. And Ray is Donkey, Donkey Kong. Kong. <clears throat> all right. Now we move on to Alan Ling, who writes, Hey, guys, to add a comment to today's Dave Drax uh, segment, I remember reading an article of how Dave said he got more roles in response to being in Blade Runner 2049 compared to uh, Guardians. Well, I mean, I think because, number one, he wouldn't have gotten Blade Runner 2049 if it wasn't for Guardians. And then I think in Blade Runner 2049, he showed he could do a little bit more than just being Drax. So, yeah, I have no doubt that that's, uh, that's absolutely the case. But even that all came from the fact that he was in Guardians. So it, it all gets traced back to James Gunn giving him a shot in Guardians. All right, next up we've got Orange Grove 55 who writes, Prediction, which studio will win the box office in 2023? God, I... I mean, the safest thing is to say uh, Disney. I mean, I believe Disney crossed the $4 billion mark this year. Or was it $5 billion that they crossed this year? Either way. A24 and Paramount, though, didn't have to yeah. Sure, for, for Paramount and A24. I'm going to say uh, WB. Well, what do they Dune, got? Dune, right? Well, they, have well Dune. they got Dune coming out, which will do much better than the last one. They got four DC movies. 
other than Four other than Disney, th- this year? I'll say Warner Brothers. Because we got yeah. what else we got this year? We got the Flash, Blue Beetle, the Flash, Aquaman, Shazam. Shazam. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're gonna have a good year. I still think we, I still think it'll be Disney's year though. Or should we start referring to them as WBD? Warner we, Brothers Discovery. You're right. We should be referring to them as that. Well, if you're looking for their stock ticker, you would. But it's easier to say WB. Yeah. But you are right. <clears throat> All right. Uh, also, I just want to say that Rob is doing so much better, guys. He's getting better and better. I know. It's like he's played this before. All right. Jonathan Schultz writes, I have a theory about... Oh, about- man. All right. John- Jonathan Schultz has a theory here, Rob, about Indy 5. That Indy will sacrifice himself and stay in the past while others can escape past to the present. Uh, and that's how it ends instead of him dying. Well, eventually he'd still die, but just further in the past. Like Captain America. Oh. I can see. Um, nah. I, and the reason I can say no is because Harrison likes his characters to die. Uh, so I'm going to guess that he's gonna, he wants Indy to die. My, I that's my guess. My theory is his son, whoever, whoever plays his son, they're going to be on a ledge and his son's going to stab him and push him off the cliff. <laughs> Without handrails. Yeah. Cliff without handrails. I need to pick someone else. <laughs> this guy's sliding all over all the right. place. Evan writes, Ryan Gosling is the superior Ryan. Ooh. Oh. Well, well then, I mean, know, listen. That's an opinion. Look, Gosling and Reynolds, both good Canadian kids. Uh, we're still just waiting for Have Ray they to finish. Have they together? Uh, no, not that I know of. Hmm. Unless they were both on... Um, nope, no, I don't think they were ever yeah, on anything yeah, together. Baby. Anyway, um, they are both have different <laughs> strengths and i yeah i'm definitely i think there are some movies and some roles that ryan gosling would probably be the better choice and some that mm-hmm. i think ryan reynolds would be the better choice they do they they are two very different fundamentally different actors i know rob you're producing a movie and you haven't your writer hasn't submitted the script to you yet but the talent agency comes <laughs> to you and says the talent we agency comes to you and says Hey, you can have either, I'm willing to put uh, one of my two clients in your movie, but only one. Do you pick Ryan Reynolds or do you pick Ryan Gosling? Understand that Ryan Reynolds is a major sponsor of our show. I pick only because I think Ryan Gosling, it, uh, not knowing, mm-hmm. since I'll just take, if he's our sponsor, I'll, I'll say Ryan Reynolds. But <laughs> I'd probably go Ryan, Ryan Gosling only because he has a little bit more range. Because Ryan Reynolds tends to pick the same kind of characters. Um, I, I mean, even before Mint Mobile became a sponsor of us, you guys know Ryan Reynolds is my favorite, uh, my favorite, uh, movie star. So I would have to go with Ryan Reynolds, but they're both great. Both good Canadian kids. I mean, I could also show a little bit of favoritism to Ryan Gosling because he grew up much closer to me than Ryan Reynolds did. Mm. Ryan Reynolds grew up in uh, the other part of Canada. Whereas uh, Ryan uh, is that Gosling, Vancouver or what is that? Yeah, oh. out in Vancouver. Whereas Ryan Gosling grew up in the true Canada, uh, <laughs> which is in Ontario. Gotcha. All right. Well, Cody E writes, "Hey guys, hope you all had happy holidays." Thank you. All oh, right. that's it. Yeah. Yes, we did. I had a, I had a great holiday. Thank you. Joshua McGregor. <laughs> oh, with a twenty dollars super chat. Thank you. Oh, thank you, man. Um. Sorry, I just bumped my. Okay. Happy New Year, crew. I think we, uh, we the people, deserve answers as to why Werewolf by Night does not qualify as a film. Release the Chris Gunn. Because even Disney qualifies it as a special presentation. Uh, they qualify it as a movie on Disney+. Plus. Well, that's because they don't have a separate These section for it yet. But it's, uh, yeah. Cut. Like, it wouldn't even... At the, um, at the Academy Awards, it would not be listed under feature film. It's over 40 minutes, though, so it can't be a short But that includes credits of... Yeah, it's, it's not a movie. That's why they give it its own special designation of special presentation. That, then we should need to start nominating Hallmark movies then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hallmark yeah, movies. They deserve. Look, this whole time, I thought you had to hold, hold R to accelerate. So I was drifting. That's why I was like, I was like, why am I sliding all over the place? I hate this game. Now I get it. Now, now you, y'all are dead. You hold it. Y'all are dead. <laughs> Y'all didn't tell me. Wow, he's actually nothing. looking. I'm coming back with a vengeance. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but someone hit me. A to accelerate. Oh, right, I'm so... stupid blue shell. They hate me. Mom. Why? Why? The blue shell should not be a thing in wow, this game. Wow, Ray wasn't kidding. He's up to fourth now from six. Yeah. All right, so... Oh, oh come on, homeboy. Listen, guys. Come on, not... take it home. It's not just us here. Come we... on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not... Come on, come on, come on. Oh! Oh, 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 oh man. Oh, you were so close. You were so, so close. close. Oh, don't worry. 
<laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> All right. That was the closest I ever came that to meeting you. That is the closest. Can I change my character too? Sorry. I don't yeah, think we can change. Out. I think we have to finish the. Uh, oh, it's okay. Fine. The uh, circuit I'll first. Only guy. two more races, and it then the matter. circuit's done. I'll win. All right. So I don't think you've ever finished second. No. That was great. So we'll be uh, we'll Thanks. be back with some more questions here. But first, we're going to take a little ad break here from our friends at Mint Mobile. Me. Guys, we want to thank a sponsor of this video, Mint Mobile. This holiday season, the best deal in wireless can only be found at Mint Mobile. Right now, when you switch to Mint Mobile and buy any three-month plan, you get another Another three months for free. Mint Mobile lets you order and activate from home with eSIM while saving tons on phone plans starting at just $15 a month. You guys know I've been using Mint Mobile long before this holiday deal and I have to say it is the perfect time to switch. I have absolutely loved using Mint Mobile and like I've told you guys many times, I am now spending less than one third of what I used to spend under one of the other major mobile carriers. And now with the whole buy three months, get three months free deal, it's even better. All of their plans come with unlimited talk and text, plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and switch easily and effortlessly with eSIM. Or if you need a new device, for a limited time, get six months of free service when you buy a select device and plan. So guys, for a limited time, buy any three-month Mint Mobile plan and get three more months for free by going to mintmobile.com campia. That's Mint Mobile mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia. <laughs> so you guys thought we took a break while while y'all had to watch that? No, wait. Yeah. We were playing video games still. We're racing for peaks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that works that way. All right, but Al Renshaw writes in, I listen to Christmas Morning Feeling <laughs> View from here <laughs> and uh, do a little good at least twice a week since I uh, saw her them in Spirited. It's, hey, listen, the music, again, it's the guys, it's done by the same guys who did the music in uh, Greatest Showman. And I think, I mean, the Greatest Showman music is better, but it, it was really delightful. They did a really, really good job with that music. All right, and Al Renshaw is back here with another question. He writes, uh, if Marvel decides to do more special presentations, Elseworlds material, I could see Cameron coming in to direct one of those. No, I can't. Again, Chris made a great the, the point this morning. With what time? When is he going to do? When when exactly would Cameron do that? Um, he has I mean, no time. He has no time to do it. He's working on like all these other. First of all, he's doing all these Avatar films. There is no time. What's there that? Is Rocky no two. Time. Rocky <laughs> two. So yeah, I can't. I can't see him do it because even even a special presentation. I mean, that's still a year, year and a half of commitment. To doing that, so I uh, I don't do I don't see it happening. At the same time, I mean I would like to see it. I think it would be really cool to see that, but I just don't see it happening. All right, we've got uh, Raziel Prime writing in here. Hi team, Rob with the 30th anniversary of uh, Star Trek DS9 yesterday. Do you think we'll ever see an upscale 1080p remaster? I know the next generation's upscale was expensive because the it was. Remember, it wasn't an upscale; it was a well, true remaster. remaster. They had to go back and they scanned all the negative. And it took four years to do it. Woo! So. So as far as uh, DS9, then you don't think that's going to happen then? Oh, Ray pulling fourth. Oh, oh no, no, it's okay. I hate the... Well, I'm going to take I'm gonna take that as a no, uh, Rosio. Oh, sorry, unfortunately. So here's the thing. <laughs> they have to go back into the negative and rescan all the negative. And Deep Space Nine didn't use a lot of CGI, but they'd have to go... Any CGI battle sequences would have to then be all be all re-rendered, right? Yeah, all that which they have to be rendered at 2K. They finished Star Trek TNG at 2K, and um, that's what they're doing with all the Star Trek shows. They're not even now; they're not finishing them in 4K. So it would it would take at least four years to do it the way they did TNG. All right, all right. So we've got uh, Jared Vesser next. Hey guys, uh, what comes out first, Matt Reeves the Batman two, or the new Batman from the DCU? Ooh, I I would like to think Matt Reeves, but I think there might be a good chance that James Gunn fast tracks uh, a new Superman and Batman. I, you're probably right though, Chris. It's probably Matt Reeves. Yeah, okay, I'll go Matt Reeves. Right? Yeah. Okay, you're probably right. Well, Matt Reeves, Rob. Matt Reeves too. I believe that because they're probably in pre-pro on it now. Yeah. 
probably. Damn it. I can't. I can't. I'm not at uh, liberty to say. So <laughs> I'm going to move forward with uh, AM writing. Uh, what could DC do to differentiate the DCU Batman from the Batman movies? Oh, well. Listen, every time we've seen an, a new iteration of Batman, they've all been different from each other. Uh, they've done a really good job. It's never seemed to be very all that all that complicated for them to do so. So, um, yeah, what I don't I think mean? there's much they have to do. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. You the game. All right, Josh shows the rights. Holy smokes! <laughs> <laughs> Holy smokes! I love Ultimate Alliance. Apparently, you could get out of that prison cell. Yeah. Spider Woman was always on my team in the original. Well, yeah, because there was the one and two. I played two. I haven't played three. Just watched you guys suffer through it. <laughs> but anyway, um, that well. hurt. By the way. Well, ah! we're going to try to learn these games a little better before we just jump right in. But uh, anyway. We couldn't get out of the tutorial room. You know what game we is for sure? Get out of the we don't need room. a tutorial when we get Mario Party. Oh, yeah. That's oh, when yeah. Mario Party. Yeah, yeah, Mario Party will be. Because that actually tells you what to do right before the game starts. Whoever comes in last, this race has to get out of the room with the other game. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next up, what's Nerdy Podcast writes? Um, can we talk about how the John Carter movie was secretly, deliberately sabotaged by Disney? Yep, that's I stand my with theory. Rob. It also wasn't. Avatar it wasn't. Two billion. It that's, was. That's, it was not. It was. No. They had it. A hundred percent. That's why they didn't, they, they, they was didn't not. call it John. They, they didn't say anything about it being a Mars. They didn't say it was a space movie. And I'm telling you, the uh, Bob Bob Iger did not want to lose out on George Lucas. It, it had nothing to do with it. There's no absolutely nothing to to justify that theory. Or nothing, no facts back up that theory. It's completely uh, okay, not true. Amber Heard. <laughs> None of that. Nothing backs that up. All right. Um, All right. But then the follow up, though, Avatar making two billion. You guys think it's going to hit two billion world? world? I still don't think so. But listen, I, the numbers it's made right now, I'd be, I would not be willing to bet money against it. Like, so yeah, I don't think it will. But I ain't going to say it's possible. Ah, oh, damn it! All right, Jedediah Elias oh. writes. Rewatched Ready Player One at one of my uh, local indie theaters. Even better than I remembered it. Can't believe it's disappeared from cultural zeitgeist. I, I thought it. I didn't read. Yay! Um, I didn't <laughs> read. Uh, Bro, Ready Player boy. One. Look at that. Got a second again. Come on. I did not read Ready Player One. So when watching the movie was my very first experience with. Did any of you guys read Ready Player One? Yeah, I read the book, not the second one. Though. Yeah, the movie was my was my very first uh, exposure to it, and that's it, man. I thought it was. Let's go. I thought the movie was fantastic. I'm really. Yeah, I think it's a lot of fun. I thought it was really like the like. Oh, and as the movie went on, I just got more and more into it. It was visually wonderful. I thought again, it just proves that Steven Spielberg is the best filmmaker of all time because only he can do Lincoln. And do Ready Player One. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, it just, oh, it was so good. I enjoyed it. I'm glad you liked it, man. All right, let, All right. let's let's take a second. No, and let's watch not. The, oh, look at that. Everyone, there's something out the window. <laughs> <laughs> look, look yeah, the is yeah, the it. <laughs> so the let's go. Um, there are actually wearing people out the window and they look. <laughs> okay, so I guess now I, I pick, pick a new character I and I whoop that ass. And I whoop that ass. All right, Future Millionaire writes, currently watching the menu on HBO. Have fun, guys. I love that movie so much. In my top ten of the year. Oh, I'm glad it's on. Okay, I'm gonna stream it. I didn't. I, I didn't realize it. it was on HBO already. Oh no, wait. I think Ann told me it was on. on here? Oh, yeah. Um. He All right. Be. Santez Henderson writes. Uh, the Rock is getting beat up in the press. I feel bad for him right now with the hate he's uh, been getting for some something that's not his fault. I here's okay. So somebody mentioned that Ezra Miller article. That Ezra that Ezra Miller thing about some WB execs may still want Ezra Miller is actually in an article, a larger article, I believe, that I didn't have a chance to read yet, that basically saying that Dwayne Johnson was trying to take over the DC or so. I, I, again, I don't know. Mm. I need to read it. I'll read that obviously tonight and then we'll talk about it more tomorrow. But I mean, yeah, look, when you take big swings, this is the problem. We always say we want people to take risks, but then we punish people for taking risks. When you take a big swing at something and miss, yeah, everybody loves piling on after that. Everybody loves piling on and saying, ah, you failed when everybody else is too cowardly to actually try it. And you must have seen what was going on there, like seeing how messed up it was. Someone had to take lead and he yeah. tried, I guess. Yeah, so I need to read more about that, but it does seem like he's getting more criticism right now as a result of the Black Adam stuff than he's ever probably received in his career for anything. All right, Cody. Including writes. his fanny pack. <laughs> he's proud of that. 
Cody E writes, um, and are there any video games you'd like to see adapted to screen that aren't already in development? Eh. Yeah. Not that I can think of, really. I, think I want to see Marvel Alliance and see how they, uh, <laughs> how they, they get, get out, out of that, that room. That room. That's but, for the sequel. In the sequel, they go to get out of the room. Yeah. Hades, actually, you know what? Yeah, Hades. Oh, and you know what else? But I've heard they are developing. It Takes Two. Would make a really interesting, fun movie, I think. Um, we just got a member chat Damn. here. Uh, I was on your ass. I had to get you. Had so, Ari uh, Sorry there, Alteris, buddy. member for nine months at director level. My pitch for the next Wakanda movie. Uh, it is almost uh, sunset. Lupita is walking on a beach with a uh, white sundress barefoot. Two hours and 38 minutes, end credits. She walks a little more, thoughts? That's still better. It's better than Wakanda Forever. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's because it's Lupita Nyong'o. Anything with Lupita Nyong'o is better than anything else. Um, yeah, I'm for it. Like, again, you that's one of the big yeah, weaknesses of Wakanda Forever was not enough use of Lupita Nyong'o. And again, at the end of the day, Lupita Nyong'o's character, uh, Nakia, should have been it made no no sense whatsoever that uh, Shuri became Black Panther instead of Nakia. It made no sense whatsoever. Again, here's the thing. Oh. In the movie, right, Nakia single-handedly solves the mystery of Talokan, finds Talokan, infiltrates Talokan, takes out one or two Talosians, rescues the princess, takes her back to Wakanda, and they make Shuri Black Panther. You, like, it's the dumbest, dumbest thing they could have done. And How did it, I get so far back? Uh, Sorry. Yeah, so anything, any, more Nikito Nwango would make uh, Black Panther franchise better. All right. All right, back to the Super Chats here. Um, Bailey Fuller writes, are there any films that you want to, yeah, are there any films that you want to surprise you? Well, every film I want to surprise me. Oh, yeah, I want I'm excited film. for the film, uh, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Bad Word. Or, oh, I'm not giving it. Okay, I got you. The oh, no, art I, not accidentally had us, I accidentally had us do the same courses. I'm sorry. Chris is out. Next one, we'll, go, we'll do the next one. Bullshit. Yeah, All right. Yeah. He, he, Bailey I here is excited for uh, The Subtle Art of Not Giving an F. Uh, I read the book and can't wait. It's a great book. I don't know anything about it. Oh, it's wonderful. Is, that, is it being made into a movie? Yeah, which I'm confused by. <laughs> 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 Who's it's a self-help book essentially? Just like, hey, you need to not give a shit about what people think. Like other people's opinions, so it's none of your business. Who's making this? I don't know which studios do it. Okay. okay. Just you guys know we've hit 1,300 by viewers. Oh, yeah. oh wow! Thank you. I don't think anybody can hear. Uh, no, that's okay. You guys know now. Uh, for those of you missed it, uh, Taylor was saying we we have 1,300 live viewers. I think 1,300 live viewers is a record for our open mics and playing chats. Yeah, well, but all of them were there to watch. To watch us Ultimate not being able Street. to get out of a room. They all were like, Man, they're like, maybe they're playing it. Yeah, maybe they're playing after this one. <laughs> maybe. All right, we got Wiley Todd here, member for nine months. Oh, thank level. you, Wiley Todd. Uh, he, he writes, um, I would love to see Dylan O'Brien in a superhero role. Did you? He did bulk up for American Assassin. I mean, it's more than about... He also wasn't great in American Assassin, uh, which was a movie that wasn't bad, by the way. I, I kind of liked American Assassin, but uh, I didn't think he was all that strong. In. By the way, Jonathan, yes, uh, we generally don't read uh, member chat ones that come in on... Oh, we save those for uh, the main show. Yeah, y'all, so you just got lucky. <laughs> yeah. It's universal, bringing, it's universal bringing that movie. Okay, I, that's... I'll have to keep my eyes open for that. All right. Uh, Who's Cam shooting me? <laughs> Jerk. Cameron's Dane. taking first position. Oh, who's got Bobby purple sky coming? I'm in fifth oh, now. Damn it. Oh, that sucks. Well, he's still in first, there, huh? so it didn't really matter. It really sucks oh, being awesome, back man. there, huh? <laughs> yeah. Just oh, how's it ass. feel? How does the fart smell? Boom. Back there? Damn it. There was a, I, there was a, that's what she said joke in there somewhere, damn but I it. didn't feel the appropriate. Oh, he was the first. Now he got smoked out to fit. Ooh, that sucks. Uh, Chris and 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 John going out of here. Just where am oh, I? Oh, slamming took my their cars in each other. Okay, I'm in no one knows where to third go. now. Well, someone's stealing all the boxes. <laughs> I want my box, baby. <laughs> I want that hot bed. box. All right, Cameron Dean oh, Scott writes. Oh, look at all that stuff on my face. What are your thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? Look at all that stuff I on my face. You, you should have hit the mushroom. It would have blown off of you. 
If oh. you guys hit the speed bumps or, or wow. mushrooms, oh, that'll get rid of the ink. Speed bumps? Oh, anything, anything that makes you go fast, it'll get rid of the ink. Really? Yeah. It, yeah it, like, so I never off. knew that. All right. What are your thoughts on Chronicle Michael B. Jordan? I love it. Uh, could we ever see found footage style MCU film? If so, what character direction would it be? No, I think found footage should be put away and never brought out of the box again. But I had that same thought okay. going into Chronicle, and I loved Chronicle. I can, we were just talking about it a little bit earlier with Josh, Josh Trank directing oh, it. I love that movie. Oh, I got hit right before the finish line. That's right. Someone had to do it. Oh, I was like meters away from the finish line. Right the finish Chris line. takes first. Right at the last second. <laughs> Ah. All right, Joshua McGregor writes, Hey guys, is there not enough mics in Studio B? Can't hear Chris. Nope, not enough. That's just literally it. We, we don't have enough mics. Here, I'll tell you what. Emotes. No, 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 no. Well, Rob's not. Well, here. We'll just Rob doesn't seem to know how to speak while he's playing a video game. I can't talk very well. That won't reach back there. No, 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 no. Okay. Rob, Rob, Rob. We have one yeah, that, that won't reach back there, unfortunately. That's okay. Maybe you'll hear a little bit better, though. All right, so there, that answered your question. But, right. wait, but, but, but just so you know, Jonathan and I have already. We realize that technical limitation in here. We're going to try to fix that and, and get a new soundboard that has more mic inputs. All right. Jedediah Elias writes, uh, Megan has a 98% oh, on Rotten Tomatoes. Ooh, what? it went up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was because the, we checked this morning. It was at 96. Then me, Taylor, and Rob were at lunch, and it went up to 97. And apparently now it's up to 98. Yeah, I mean. We're talking about Megan? With, with how many Megan. reviews? So it's got with 41 reviews right now. I've got my tickets to see it at 5 o'clock tomorrow. So I'm very excited to see it. It looks... I mean, look, I'll be honest with you. Uh -oh. I didn't think it looked very good when we were at CinemaCon and they showed us a preview of it. I didn't think it looked good then. But the trailers have been better than the preview. And so... And everybody's saying great things about it. So I'm, I'm excited to see it tomorrow. All right. Up next, uh, Moon 7 Willow. Favorite 80s sci-fi movie? Oh, that's a tough one. Blade Runner. Um, I, I don't, I don't remember what was in the eighties. I mean, I mean, I'd have what, to see a list. In front does of aliens me. count, or is that horror? The aliens counts. Sci-fi. I'll go with aliens. Yeah, I can't go with anything because I can't remember what's, what came out. Chris wasn't born. I don't. I, know. Yeah, I was just cooking. I wasn't even an idea yet. Yeah. All right. Oh, okay. So, uh, Sinister Sunset, because apparently none of us has watched movies beyond when we were born. Sinister <laughs> Sunset, did you watch the uh, God of War Ragnarok? <laughs> sorry, I started laughing. Did you guys watch the God of War Ragnarok cutscene movie? Wait, did you just have to interrupt yourself because you were laughing at your own joke? Is no, that no. Happened? I was laughing, at, <laughs> I was laughing at her reaction. Oh, okay. okay. It was like a delayed reaction from her, and then it was a delayed reaction <laughs> from me. One year, and we thought <laughs> you did that instead. <laughs> Uh, did you watch the God of War Ragnarok cutscene movie? What did you think? To me, <laughs> to, oh, to me, the game is a damn. I'm funny. <laughs> Such a beautiful ending and narrative. Um, yeah, I watched the 17-hour uh, version of the God of War Ragnarok. Ah, oh, fucking blue shell. Um, yeah, that was me, baby. Uh, was, was you the one who threw it? Was that blue? <laughs> there was blue. The, the blue, blue spiky blue. shell? Yeah, that yeah, was yeah, you. Yeah. It got you? Yeah, it got me. Okay. Um, yeah, and it was fantastic. It, I, I think it was better than the first. You know, I, I didn't know about this at first, but I think now I think it was better than the first God of War Ragnarok, oh, at least story-wise. And the ending was great, and everything about the Dwarf Brothers was beautiful and tragic and moving. And, yeah, I loved it. It was great. All right, we got one here from uh, AJ who writes, most anticipated show this year. Mine is definitely Succession Season 3. Mine's going to be The Last of Us. Last of Us. Season, Last four. Of Us. season 4, Rob. Well, I mean, Yellowstone. Season 4, yeah. Season 4 for all mankind. Yeah, so uh, always Yellowstone And in me. 10 years, House of the Dragon Season 2. <laughs> and in 10 <laughs> years. I'll go Last of Us and then For All Mankind. Why am I getting hit with the blue shell again? There should be a limit. That if you're in the I'll lead, you can get with the... In front of me all of a sudden. Oh, at least I won. But there should be wow. a limit. You can only get hit with the blue at shell once I per game. Won. <laughs> <laughs> I don't won, but at least I won. <laughs> well, you, Ray got I'm me sorry, at the end. That's what I hear in my head. You got me right at the end. That's not how you sound, but that's what I hear in my head. <laughs> okay, Chino writes... Much... I win, but it's still not fair. <laughs> 
Even if I have the metal, I'm just gonna complain about how clean it is. Or how dirty it is. Why would you complain how clean something is? Man, that's too clean. Why would you complain if, if something's too clean? Yo, that's a little too clean. <laughs> okay, Chino, right. How much percent is gun in charge compared to Feige? All the percents. I'm sorry, I'm a piece of shit. Well, I get 50% because it's doing well, that. I just talk. So. Uh, 100%. He has he has as a hundred percent as much authority as uh, as Kevin. I mean, obviously split with Peter Safran, What's but the point of this? they are completely in control. I can't even catch actually, up. Actually, you know what? He actually has more control than Kevin Feige does because Kevin Feige has a middle layer of management between him and Bob Iger, whereas uh, James Gunn and Peter Safran have they only report to uh, David Sasson. Although Kevin Feige has made the studio almost thirty. Billion dollars, whereas James got a Peter Safran have it. That's result. That isn't how much authority he has. Though. No, but I mean, in terms of they got they got more more clout. They got more clout. Yeah. It's R and Y. But James Gunn wins. Oh. <laughs> James Gunn wins. So James Gunn wins, and Feige <laughs> loses. Oh. <laughs> see, see, Jonathan picks up the voice. I get it. All right, uh, just some support here from Martin Garcia. Thank oh, you, Martin. And we've got uh, how much. <laughs> Not enough support at all. <laughs> Might as well cancel your YouTube. <laughs> this is the moment I went from funny to us getting canceled. Uh, all right, Cash writes. Oh shit! They already started. Cash did not write that. You guys should play a Telltale game and together make the decisions. Maybe Batman. Oh, the Batman one was a good one. Or uh, The Wolf Among Us, just a uh, thought. The, the problem, really though, is that we can't answer questions. We'd be having to pay attention to the story and, the, and listen to the dialogue. Yeah, that, the is, whole time. that is true. I'm sorry, what happens when you miss all the mystery boxes and all five of them are laid out? and you don't like even... the last three. Like, I should get a medal for that. Because <laughs> it feels like you, that shouldn't happen. <laughs> I should get a medal. <laughs> Uh, All right. Uh, so Carlos writes thoughts on the Matilda movie musical. It's so I cute. loved it. I, I didn't watch it. I don't have much interest oh, in it. It's really well done. Who stars in it? Um, the gal who Emma was Thompson. um Monica Rambo um oh. in it as Miss Honey and uh, really? Thompson oh. is the trench bull and um one of the actors from Snatch is in it. It's really well done. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, so Martin Garcia writes, you guys should play Super Smash Brothers next. I think that's in the works. Yeah, we were talking about that. We, I think we definitely want to do Super Smash Brothers. Party first. Yeah. Oh, this stupid little squid. All right, Al Renshaw writes, excited to see Daphne Keene possibly play a Sith. Um, whatever she's going to be. I, I'd like. So for those of you who don't know what he's talking about, Daphne Keene, who played <clears throat> uh, Wolverine's daughter in Logan, she is um, going to be in... Uh, she's in... Uh, Acolyte, which is fantastic. So whatever she's going, I don't know if she's going to be a Sith or not, but whatever she's going to play, it's going to be really good to see her in that. Wow. All right. So uh, let's see, bring this up. So Carlos writes, uh, do you think people will compare, let me write, start this again. Do you think people will compare the underwater scenes? Oh, uh, from the live action, Little Mermaid and Avatar, the way of the water. No, but uh, yeah, they will. They I mean, they will, but it's I mean, not they fair, but yeah. It's not even the same technology used, nothing. I mean, yeah, they're going for different styles and aesthetics, so. Yeah. One took 25, 25 years to make, so. Good. All right, well, this is a fun one to read. Wahahaha, blue and gold throb. Okay. <laughs> right. Uh, I'm actually able to watch. My cat and I are enjoying this. I'm getting tired of the non film uh, looking Marvel films. Love and Thunder just looked like a video game to me. I love the Eternals, need more. Um, yeah, I mean, listen, we were talking about the Eternals the other day. I'm a pre I appreciate it. Oh, come on! <laughs> Not when I'm right at the finish line! Come on! Come on! There we go. Oh! Are you getting second? No. no. Yes, you are. Yeah. Oh, oh no! You were. Oh! oh. <laughs> That's bitter, dude. I was right there. <laughs> yeah. I should have won. <laughs> Well, anyway, about Marvel's uh, look lately. Oh, yeah. I 
I mean, look, one of the, I am a little concerned about, uh, as excited as I am, I don't know what you guys think about uh, Ant-Man. It's that it's another, it seems like it's going to be another 80% all CGI environment. Yeah. Kind of, that's the only thing, I mean, I don't know how else you're supposed to do the quantum realm. You can't shoot it in like downtown Pittsburgh, or maybe you can, I don't know. But, um, but yeah, I, I'd like to see, get back to the original kind of MCU yeah. movies about just real physical environments and effects. And I don't know, we'll, we'll see. It makes me a little bit worried. Yeah. I, I think one of the issues I have, like you mentioned uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp, which I'm excited to see, but you know, when those characters are kind of coming over that little rock formation and they all point their weapons at them. Yeah. I don't believe there's anything beyond that rock. I believe <laughs> yeah. the soundstage yeah. ends. Yeah. There. And that's the problem. Whoa. Ooh, I'm gonna. Oh, we all get the same car. Well, you can pick another. You can pick one. another one. I will. I'll try the new car. I'll Me give the too. car a shot. All right, so I'll pick the new. <laughs> King Daddy Goat writes expectations on uh, TLOU show. I'm super excited. The Last of Us. Oh yeah, okay. That's what oh, that high expectations. I mean, I, that's unfair. I mean, it, it, it's unfair that we're going into it expecting it to be better. But, I mean, it is. The expectations are high. The story of the game is incredible. You got the showrunner behind Chernobyl, one of the maybe the best, quote-unquote, miniseries made in the last 20 years. Um, so, yeah, expectations are real high. Real high. Would I you can't wait. I was going to ask you, like, <laughs> like, what do you... That's the most you've said, hey, I like, in an know. hour. That's I didn't even know Rob... <laughs> Jeez, when did I Rob get Rob was here. What's going on? I was concerned about Rob. <laughs> Should we go to our hey, satellite? You thing? want okay? Do you you want to know how you're getting older? Rob, tell everybody how you hurt your back. Oh, tell people how you hurt your back. Cough. I, I, he coughed. I coughed. He I coughed, coughed when I was driving here, and I did threw something out. I've done that. I've, to be fair, I've done that. Hey, coughing and sneezing like tenses up more muscles in your body than orgasms. It's Scientists, it's science. Here, here, here's an old reference. Yeah, All right, know so you know, in, you know, in weird science, when Lisa, <laughs> when, when Lisa freezes the grandparents in the in in the closet in the in the in the, in the kitchen closet, the pantry there, they open the door and and and, and his grandparents are just frozen with a big smile. That's kind of how Rob has been this whole time. This whole kinda, time. He's just like. Hey, you know what? I was doing so badly last time. I'm, I'm, I'm concentrating. I'm concentrating. <laughs> oh. I'm trying to get better at this game. All right. So, oh, God. Uh, God. And that was not the way to do it. <laughs> so we've got uh, Soul Carlos here writes again. I didn't I didn't love, I think he said, he's saying, I didn't love how Rob Marshall directed the underwater scene in Mary Poppins' return. I hope the technology is better for the live-action Little Mermaid. I'll be honest with you. I can't even remember the scene because the movie itself was so unmemorable in the first like i had i was super excited for that movie man i, I was mean, too i thought it looked great you had lin-manuel miranda in there you had emily blunt starring in it as the new mary poppins i, I just thought the potential in the ceiling on that one was going to be so high and then i watched it and it, don't get me wrong it has its pros there are definitely some pros about the movie and it has some really good interesting scenes and but overall, and the Dick Van Dyke cameo was fantastic. But overall, it was just not memorable. I didn't go back to watch it again. I did the same thing I did last time. Um, oh, what, when? No, I turned, and I thought the road was turning to the left, and I turned right into the barrier. Um, but I never watched it again, so I don't even remember the underwater scene, to be honest with you. All right, so we're down to our final two here. Luke Batman 0707 writes, Hey, John and crew, I really hope in The Last of Us TV show... Uh, they show the years when Joel and Tommy were hunters. Well, they... Oh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how far back they'll go with it. I know they I know they have... Uh, in the trailer, they showed scenes of him and his daughter. Like that opening scene in the game. But I don't know how far back they'll go in their storytelling. I mean, I want them to do whatever's going to be best for the show. Right. Yeah. Like, I, we don't know how they're going to tackle the story through line and the narrative. And if if it serves the narrative to show that stuff, great. If it's just a waste of time... For the narrative and isn't essential, then I hope they don't. I hope they. Oh! Ah! <laughs> you know what? I hope with the last of us, we don't 1923 that thing. Because I'm making these graphics and if we only use them once. <laughs> All right. Our last question here from Devin, Devin uh, Lida. I'm surprised you guys aren't on Twitch making playing Mario Kart. I watch uh, you good Canadian kids on there along with RTO. RTU streams. I don't oh, know. I know who RTU is. I watch them too. Yes. Uh, I don't know why we'd be on Twitch. Who who cares about? I no. 
Twitch isn't for us. It's not the format for us. It's yeah. not it's not the platform for us. So no, we, we won't be on Twitch. And that is it. That's our final question. Oh, thank you, everybody. We'll <laughs> let you hang in here. So I think this is the last race. Yeah, All right. How much? <laughs> we'll hang in there. So I don't know if you want to just pull off some random uh, comments in, in the live um, chat that I you think are easy. That I'm losing. All right, guys. So yeah, I'll just kind of interact with you guys uh, in the live chat while they do the final race here. Is Chris dancing in the background? Yeah, because I won. <laughs> that, you won twice. <laughs> You know what it is? It's this new car. I should have taken this new car. It's all the car's fault. That that can be construed so many different ways. I only see a corner. That's I'm losing. Oh crap! I lost the box. Uh, Michael Gonzalez asks, "Do you guys think Luke will show up in Mando 3? That who? Luke. Oh man. Oh um. I don't know. Look, the one thing that makes me a little bit concerned about Mandalorian and this whole Mandalorian verse, like, obviously Andor isn't a part of that, is that they seem to be... Oh, what the hell? They seem to be relying a lot on nostalgia vision. Look, everybody. Here's somebody we know. Look, like... So, I'll be honest with you. I really hope Luke isn't in it. Like, I... It just... It's, it's just making me feel like Look, everybody, we're on Tatooine. Remember Tatooine? And, yeah, I. so I hope they don't. Like, rely on your character and your stories, and I hope they don't. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm, I'm with you. I'm kind of going for it. And also, put your budget somewhere else. Yeah. Agreed. Like, don't get, I'm not saying I wish they didn't have Luke show up at the end of Season 2. That, oh, narr exactly. that made narrative sense. Yeah. That fit the story. That made perfect sense, and it, it served the story. But... Yeah, everything else has been kind of iffy. Uh-oh. Do you guys just stop playing as soon as the stream is done? Well, I mean, once we, like, close out, yeah, we all kind of go about our separate ways. Yeah, well, because it's the end of the workday. Yeah. <laughs> People get to go home. Let's see, we got a... Uh, do you ever think they will make something... Oh, it's growing up. Do you guys think they'll ever make something Star Wars that isn't connected to the original series as opposed to something with no Luke or something in the Old Republic? Yes. Yeah, yeah for sure, right? Yeah, I, I think they're actually uh, turning their attention to stuff like that now. Um, and it's time. I, like I've said for a long time, Star Wars is supposed to be this vast, vast, vast universe with infinite numbers of worlds and people and whatever, and it's time to expand. Like, yeah, everything can be built around the fact that we understand we live in a galaxy with the, there is or was the Empire. Um, all I, can, I get that, but let's tell new stories with new characters and expand the world of Star Wars instead of just going back to the same thing. And somehow I figured out a way to hit the only banana that was sitting there. Oh, well, yeah, you got to avoid those. <laughs> is, that, is that how it works? Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, Casey Mack, do you guys think if Super Mario Brothers does well, we could either get a Zelda or Donkey Kong like spinoff movies? I, but are people going to go to see a Donkey Kong movie? I don't I know. I mean, the only way, the only reason I think is if the writing is so well and they do a spinoff for Donkey Kong, they could make a, they could make it good, you know? I mean, they have to give them a lot of personality and there's got to be a good story there, but I think Let's so. put this way. I We think haven't seen it yet. We don't if know. If the movie does well, then we're going to see a sequel. Yeah. I would love to see something in this vein in the Zelda world, though. Yeah. Um, whether this does good or not. Uh... <laughs> Win again! Oh my gosh, that was you. That was ahead of me the whole time. Yeah. Oh my god. How my hands look, baby? <laughs> <laughs> look at his little arms oh, going. His <laughs> little arms going. <laughs> hey man, look at that. That's pretty good. We all four of us stopped. I mean, I didn't. Oh I my stopped. god, who's Toad? Me. You won. <laughs> Oh, no, wins. Oh yeah, no, no, we're, we're yeah, we're done. We're done. Yeah. All right, guys, that'll do it. But uh. For the record, the final series, even though we're not doing the last race, Chris finished, was ahead. Yay! So she yeah. wins. Um, so that'll do it for this installment of Play in Chat. Uh, a very embarrassing outing uh, for yeah. for all of us. Um, Let's not announce what game we and make a thumbnail that's based on that game and play boy. completely different games. Well, what we'll do is do some due diligence and actually learn before yeah, we get into Yeah, next time we will never start 
a play in chat where we're loading up a game that none of us have ever played before. Yeah. I, I will say this about the game. I'm not uh, not on uh, camera. I will play it because I want to see where it Yeah, yeah I, 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 I want to play game. it too. Yeah, I did like the story where, where what it was saying but, or telling you. Um, anyway, guys, that'll do it for us for now. Uh, make sure you come back and join us for the John Campbell Show tomorrow. We're, of course, going to talk about the Cesar Miller situation and Dwayne Johnson, the story, whatever that's going to be. So hopefully you guys will see us then. Um, yeah, so for everybody in the room, thanks for being here, guys, and we will talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> I was like, if Chris...